Hey there YouTube, what's going on guys? So, we are looking at a motorcycle seat. And, well, as you can see probably from the last video, you know I had this all in pieces, well it's back together now. Um, anyway, what I wanted to do, I wanted to show you a product that a good friend of mine sent me. His name is Anthony, he has a YouTube channel is called Anthony's West Texas Rides okay and you'll see that probably like over here or somewhere it'll be somewhere anyway so you know check out his channel really great guy we've been friends for <laughs> I think ever since the start of vlogging and um, so during Christmas he's like yeah you know you should check out this 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 uh this this cream it's really great it, it 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 shines he's like i love that for my boots so i was like oh okay all right cool but I, I never really got around to it so i get a box and i open this i get this little box a little box a little thing look see this is the box i get this little box it shows up i'm like where does box come from I'm like who sent this box i don't remember seeing this box anyway come to find out i remember it was it was him he was telling me about this product that's in here that i didn't show you yet but i'm going to show you in a few minutes so um i wanted you to check this out really cool all right now <clears throat> we're going to try this out on the seat it's a cream it's called urad that's the name of the cream basically you can use this to kind of help restore your seat or to restore your boots which i'll show you that now all right so and here is my motorcycle boot that i normally that i normally use for riding and um they could actually use some some cleaning they could use a a little wipe down so we will uh we'll do that in a little bit so Let's see what they say for directions. They says, uh, URAD is a self-shining all-in-one leather cream, cleans, conditions, protects, and shines in one quick and easy step for leather shoes, boots, saddles, leather furniture, and more with Caranuba wax and lanolin. Cool. So, um, all right. So I guess basically you're just wiping it on and then wiping it off um this is what i usually would use before was this kiwi cleaner not really a cleaner but like a little protector protectant and that's worked decently i couldn't really complain about it but this is the one that he sent out to me thank you again anthony very much appreciated so let's open this up and let's just have a look all right so looks like you get a, a applicator okay cool and you have a little protectant here as you can see we'll zoom into that all right get a little protectant pull this up in it you should be able to see it Let's see what this says all right so get some instructions so let's look, look over the instructions real quick and then we'll come all right, right so now we have the urad product i shook it up a little bit let it sit for a little bit they say to use this little this little applicator to apply it okay you lift this off dip a little bit in there or dip some in there wipe it down and apply it and go from there all right all right so let's try it out that in the lid 
is what the product actually looks like as you can see there okay and all right so we're gonna dip a little in here and just apply that so basically you just I guess you're just rubbing it on rubbing it on the seat itself which this is a leather surface so we have put it on there So I just did, I just did half of it. The other half is not treated. It's pretty much the, uh, what was on there before. Even put a little bit on the, on the, my little backrest. You can actually see difference there of course this is kind of like a wet application so let's just take the camera off here so you can get a little view all right so I took the camera off just wanted you to get a idea of what this looks like so you have the non-treated side and in this side it is treated it is on the wet side so I guess it does take some time to dry the directions say to put it on a good amount so the directions say to put a good amount of it onto the sponge then apply it and I guess you just let it sit that's pretty much what it was saying so here you can pretty much see what it looks like and that's just me doing a portion of it and that is the backrest all right so just gonna finish putting some on onto the rest of the seat and over here is drying this side is drying a bit more and you can kind of see it does look a little bit more a little bit more wet a little bit more um, lusty I guess you could say just do the rest of the seat Now once again, like I said, it's my good buddy from Texas, Anthony's West Texas Rides, who uh, took the time to send this, send this on out to me. And by the way, his wife makes some awesome jelly jam, excuse me, really awesome jam. apply some more onto this also I'll dry for it to to dry in so you go out on a ride <laughs> yeah I don't think you're gonna want to do that maybe like the night before
know, for a while I was wondering what it is that I could put on here to protect this seat. Because I don't really cover it much or anything. I do have a Nelson rig cover. It's a half cover for it, but I don't use it that often. The seat out here. All right, so when I take the seat out, you're gonna see this part up here, just how that is, or the shape that. So you'll see just the condition that this portion was in. You can see that, you see the difference there. see the difference there what that's like put a little on that as it is right now it's a little on the sticky side that sure looks good though man look at that look at that look at that not bad. For your boots. Now they said that if you have, they said that this stuff could make your boot turn to a little bit of a darker color. Um, not too worried about that with this, but let's put some on there. See what that looks like. I haven't treated these all season. I put the kiwi um, stuff on there, but other than that, I haven't treated them at all. And these are the TCX boots. Actually, it was Anthony that recommended these boots too, and I love them. Really nice boot. You have your little ankle protection there, as you can see, your little shifter cover there. And as long as you have some waterproof pants on or waterproof rain suit, your feet will actually stay dry. So you don't have to worry about that. On in there. All right, Just put that all up in there. So that's going to probably need to dry for a little bit. Alright, so now we'll put some on the back seat. This is the ED seat. And probably should have been a little better with treating it. I haven't really been very good at that. But. As you can see, it still stands up pretty good. Stands up pretty good to weather treatment. They are waterproof, so they don't seep any water when it rains. Well, this rear seat's been pretty good. Seats were one of the first things I did when I got this bike. All right, so there we go. Man, this stuff has my seat looking like I just bought it. So they said when you're done, you're just gonna rinse the sponge out with some lukewarm water. Put this cover back on. You're gonna put this cover on. You rinse this out with some lukewarm water and then just place it on top of the cover until it dries. It has to completely dry before you can use it again. After a few minutes, here's what the boots are looking like or look like. It is drying, but this is what the boots look like. 
love these right next to some blue jeans <laughs> hey you guys so it is the next day and I figured I would bring you out here let's take a look at the finished product and we can see what it looks like does it look good all right so here is the finished product and you can see man it looks it looks very good <clears throat> I think you could probably see the the finish and the luster it is not the seats not all the way down but it is not sticky at all it's not sticky it's not slippery and man look at that finish that finish looks great wow man that looks great and there's the back seat it looks it looks almost like I would say <clears throat> way more alive <laughs> Whereas before it looked kind of dried out, like it was, uh, like it needed something else. But look at that. Man, that looks a lot better. I didn't look at the backrest yet, but, but this looks a lot better from even what you could see in the last video. That looks great. And then if we were to look at the boots, here goes the boots. Man, that looks good. So you know, you know what I got to do, right? I got to take the laces out and wipe the the tongue down, also, <clears throat> because that whole thing is waterproof. So I'm gonna take the laces out, wipe down the tongue, wipe down all of the eyelets. That way, it'll be nice and uniform. Man, that looks good. Yeah, that looks really good. Wow, Anthony, thank you, brother. This looks great. That looks great. I'm really. I'm really happy with that. Wow. <laughs> I figured that this is what the video would need. Just this extra portion, this extra clip showing what it's like on the outside, outside in daylight. So you can see no artificial lighting. And wow, this stuff works. All right, guys, looks like it's starting to snow a little bit. I'll see you in a bit. Take care. And I thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out uh, Anthony's West Coast, West Texas Rides. Anthony's West Texas Rides. I'll have a link down in the description, in the comments, and also at the end of the video for those of you that make it to the end of the video. All right, guys. I thank you much. And stay blessed and ride safe.